Update, am I the butthole for proposing to my girlfriend with a video game relic and refusing to buy a ring when asked? Update, am I the butthole for proposing to my girlfriend with a video game relic instead of a ring and refusing to purchase a ring after hello everyone, here's a link to my previous post from a month ago in which I proposed to my girlfriend with the amulet of Mara from Skyrim, and was a big butthole, as many of you pointed out, because she wanted a more traditional ring. Well, here's an update for you. We got married. I realized pretty quickly after posting my original post that I was the butthole and my feelings were hurt because I'm an idiot. So we picked out a ring together, and in that we decided, hey, let's just elope. So we both picked out a ring, and now we're married. Thank you for everyone who tried to knock some sense into me. I am very happy with my wife, and I'm glad we both got what we wanted. She also wore the amulet as we got married, but she didn't want me to post any of our actual wedding photos on the internet so I'm just posting the rings. That's it, we're happy, a ring was bought and now we're just enjoying nerdy married life. Edit, I removed the photo of our rings. I will not have people insult my wife. She is a ridiculously beautiful woman, but that isn't the most important thing. She is compassionate and smart as hell. She's the funniest person I know, and has such quick which she'll put you on your ass laughing. But you people can't get past her, I think adorable, hands, so no more photos. Sorry. Final edit, I'm not sure if this is allowed, and if not I'm very sorry but my wife created a discord server for people who genuinely just want to see the rings, so message me if interested I suppose. Web link. Great, hope you have a very happy life together. Her ring is beautiful. I love your username. Thank you. Thanks for pointing it out. I don't often look at usernames. Theirs is so cute. There's a couple of super good usernames in this thread. So people are got pissed that he proposed in that way, then fixed it and then people got pissed off at the ring she chose? Nobody on the sub can be happy. Congratulations. I'm glad she got the ring she wanted and you're both happily married. As long as you both spend your marriage open to being wrong sometimes, and willing to listen to each other's feedback, you're sure to have a happy life together. So keep that attitude up. Emo there's nothing wrong with being wrong as long as you can learn from it. It's a much better way to learn than always being right the first time. Of course, if you're wrong first every time people will probably still get fed up even if each time you fix that thing and then are wrong for a different reason. It's really a sign of maturity to be able to own up to your errors. Forgiving someone for their errors is also not an easy thing to do. Both require humility. Absolutely correct. We're all at our best when we learn from our mistakes. Excellent life advice from user Kinky Panties, Reddit link. And from user Penis underscore and underscore my underscore A, Reddit link. I heard a really great saying once that has stuck with me. You're either right or you learn. WTF why were people mean to the lady? I want to see the rings. It was a really pretty silver ring with like a dark blue slash red. Sapphire looking stone. Gorgeous, can't believe people would insult that. I want to find whoever bullied her and punch them. I'm so sad I didn't get to see the rings. Kind of reminded me of this but silver. I only saw it for a glance or two before he took it down, web link. That in silver would be just gorgeous. WTF a ring like that is beautiful as F. I think people objected to her hands, at least that's what I can gather because I haven't seen any of the Debbie D Downer posts. Can you imagine? Spending an ounce of energy of your beautiful life to insult someone's hands. Oh. Wait. I forgot people do things like that when they're damaged and their life doesn't feel beautiful at all. Because all I can control about other people and what they feel, think, do, and say is how I choose to react to them, I'll just hope all the crap talkers eventually find healing, love, and peace. I hope they figure out sooner than later the law of attraction is no joke. Note, the preceding paragraph was a reminder to myself to not always be so judgmental of those who judge. If that didn't come full circle and smack me right outside the head, I'll be a hippopotamus's second cousin. If they respect you, respect them. If they disrespect you, respect them. 
never lower your standards for anyone. Hot take but in my opinion being damaged is no excuse to act like a dick. Work on yourself like the rest of us. Kind of reminds me of the Kate slash Diana ring. This is totally the type of ring I would love to have, it's unique, but still traditional. Aw Titanic vibes. That's literally my dream ring style Ong, it's just stunning. This is why we can't have nice things. I want to see the ring. Oh well, I do love happy endings. Aw damn, that sounds so cool. So are they insulting the ring or the hands? And I can't fathom insulting hands, either. If hands are in any way worth noting upon, they almost entirely are not, their quirkiness makes them adorable. By proxy, her hands sound adorable. People are, well, buttholes. Wish I could see the ring, just the fact you aren't sure if it's blue or red makes it sound gorgeously unique. Honestly I think there were some of both comments, rings and hands. Like, even if you didn't like the ring keep it to yourself. Slash I think objectively it is a gorgeous and classy, somewhat antique looking ring, so I'm confused. Like it looked like it would be on Pinterest on engagement rings with colored stones. Sigh. But yeah definitely looked like a sapphire which can be any variation of those colors and in different lights etc love them. Some people are so weird and have no tact. A colleague of my old housemate got engaged, she had an onyx I think, anyway, it was a black stone and not a diamond, when she showed everyone her ring and everyone was doing what you do and saying it's beauty, really suits her etc, my housemate just had to jump in to say it's nice, but for me it's not engagement ring without a diamond, nobody asked your opinion. Even if you think it's awful just say nice things and move on, not like you'll be wearing it. Fun fact, engagement rings used to not have diamonds but traditionally sapphires, emeralds and rubies as well as other colored stones. Diamond rings are a relatively new fad if you consider the entire history of engagement rings. Came across this information recently when researching gems for my engagement ring as neither I nor my partner want a diamond. Yes something cooked up to make them more marketable. I refuse to wear natural diamonds because the industry is beyond inhumane and have a gorgeous moissanite ring instead. My ring looks similar to what original post posted and a lot of people said rude things to my face about it. People can be jerks sometimes, even if they don't mean to be. Even it's just because they're too obtuse to realize what they're saying is rude. Rule of thumb, if you're looking at anything personal to someone, be it an engagement slash wedding ring or baby, smile and say something nice. It doesn't matter if you think it's ugly as hell. It's special to that person and you're in butthole if you say anything judgmental. I've been insulted for my long fingers before. A lot. But you know, as a lesbian. I take the fact that I have big fingers as a compliment. Lucky. Edit, also, WTF, hasn't anyone heard of piano fingers? Long fingers are considered a gift. I used to play piano as a child and my teacher always commented on my piano fingers, she was obsessed. Think I grew into them though cause now they just look normal in comparison to the rest of my body, whereas as a child I was kind of like Edward Scissorhands. Get that 10 key chord, or go full Chopin and get that 12 key chord. Go full Rachmaninoff with 14. Alexandra can change colors depending on the lighting but I believe it is pink to green? A possibility. I wish I saw the ring too. I have an Alexandrite engagement ring and mine is purple to green. Absolutely lovely and I bet Ops was just as lovely. I love unique engagement rings. I have what could be considered ugly hands so I feel for Ops wife. I wish I could have seen the ring, if people want to see what I mean about my hands I can update with a photo. I can't believe the nerve of people. I think people were insulting her hands. The internet sucks. Seriously? They were insulting her, hands? People are so weird. But what a great ending up. Mazel tov. That's such a strange thing to criticize. My sympathy to Op's lovely wife. I don't even think it was the ring they insulted her for. It was her hands. Some Redditors are effing buttholes. Same. Same. Congratulations on your marriage. I'm glad everything worked out. It's a great ending to this story. The ring's beautiful, too. Yes, 
it's really nice. A fairy tale ending during a difficult time. It's always great when we get these nice updates. I'm just here wondering what the orangutan toe brained redditors could have said about your wife's hands. I'm guessing idiots were commenting on anything that made her hands look less than hand model perfect. I'm also guessing that one of their own hands is worn out and tired of being overworked. People are incredibly disgusting, focus on the goddamn beautiful story. They got married and they've got a cute ring story, one day when they have kids they'll tell the story over and over again. Whereas the forever alone neckbeards will forever drool over anime girls and they will feel socially isolated because they just can't be normal humans. Right? He bought me a freaking Skyrim amulet. No, child, Skyrim is that game you played on the toaster when you were 8, remember? Lamau wow this made me realize that my kids in the future will look at the games I play now and say wow this is such crap. She has cute chubby hands. And freckles and a lovely complexion on them, but reddits are troglodytes and have to focus on that instead of the lovely rings and story. Also reddit neckbeards who haven't showered or moved in the past 6 years have a problem with a chubby lady and her beautiful chubby hands? Wow they deserve to see their disgusting reflection on their computer screen as they're jerking off to porn. This comment made me laugh laughing my butt off reddit neckbeards. Same. I'm sad I can't see the rigs now. Yes yeah, same I was curious about the rings. The husband's ring was a black band with what looked like some red inlay, or the red may have been a reflection of something. And the wife's ring had a red stone with small diamonds around it, I think I'm remembering that right, and a thin silver band, it was a very classic looking, pretty setting. That sounds like a pretty nice ring. Thank you for describing that. In the end, crappy redditors were the ah. Uh, wish I could have seen the ring, but I understand people are jerks far too much of the time. Congratulations op. Exactly. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty ring, as long as they love wearing the ring it'll be pretty. I have posted some pictures where my hands were visible. I got a lot of comments saying my hands looked like man hands, or that must be really old based on how they look. Same thing happened with my feet, but honestly, I think that's fair. My nickname used to be Troll Toes. I've come to accept my meat hooves. Yeah I would have liked to see the new ring but I am sure it is beautiful and that original post will live happily ever after. Congrats to you both. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.